Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The murder trial for 22-year-old Anthony Rahim Ariaga continued today in Mingo County Circuit Court. Ariaga is accused of killing former coal company executive Ben Hatfield. Hatfield was shot in the back while cleaning his wife's grave at Mountain View Memory Gardens in Mayer Memorial Day weekend last year. The prosecution rested just before lunch today. After lunch, to the courtroom's surprise, an emotional Anthony Ariaga took the stand. Ariaga explained to the court how he met his alleged co-conspirator, 19-year-old Brandon Lee Fitzpatrick. He said they had been introduced just days before the murder took place. He told the jury about the days leading up to the murder, the day the killing took place, the days following the murder, and then when he was arrested. During his testimony, he explained that Fitzpatrick threatened him and then threatened to, quote, make a call about his mom. He says Fitzpatrick was the one who shot Ben Hatfield and then left him at the cemetery. During cross-examination, Mingo County Prosecutor Jonathan Duke Jewell said it was like a, quote, good cop, bad cop situation, but in this case, it was a, quote, good killer, bad killer situation. Ariaga told Jewel he was only guilty of not trying to prevent the situation from happening or not trying to help Hatfield afterward. He says at the time, he was only worried about his mom and what Fitzpatrick might do to her. In the days leading up to the murder, Ariaga explained he had been awake for four days due to taking methamphetamine. The trial will continue tomorrow. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.